Hey guys, Fleur here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Meet My 47 Characters video where I take everyone on a tour through all my characters that I've made. That's kind of a lot, but when you think about it, it's not that many because I heard of someone who had like over 200, so I think we're good. So what I have for each of my characters is, I don't have art of all of them, but I do have a Pinterest board for all of them. So I just have pins of them, of their aesthetics, or things they would say, or what they like, or things that are their colors. It's really fun. I definitely suggest, like, even if you can't draw or get commissions of your characters as visuals, to, like, put together a Pinterest board for each of them. Because it's really fun and gives a good, like, visual representation of them. So the first character, of course, is Fleur, my persona, classic black and white character. I chose a tiger because felines are my favorite. Um, she was originally going to be just a white tiger with black stripes and her, her name was going to be Harmony. But then I was on Instagram and I saw someone else that had a white tiger named Harmony. So I was like, okay, we need to be different. We need to switch this up. So I just reversed the colors and then, I don't know, I was looking up like things in other languages and was like, Fleur, like that sounds nice, whatever. She used to have a full name, which is Fleur de Takari, which meant flower of tiger. She has nothing to do with flowers, I just thought it sounded cool, but the last part is no more, and now she's just Fleur. On her Pinterest board, as we can see, just lots of black and white aesthetics going on, black and white cars. She doesn't have a backstory, just mostly like black and white aesthetics. Um, she does like to read. Sometimes I draw her with an industrial piercing and kind of another thing with her is like I don't draw her like this But I imagine that she's super fluffy, but underneath all her fluff. She's kind of muscular So sometimes I have like weightlifting things for her like this is so her I work out so I can carry more books. My next character is Basque He's a lizard who is like 50s beach aesthetic themed. I have no art of him <laughs> I'm kind of scared to draw lizards. We just have tons of photos of like Old woodies, old cars, old surfing style. He's just like a rad, chill character. Number three on the list is Mira. She's a bull. I have one piece of art of her that I made a while ago and it's not very up to date with my style so I don't like it but I'll show it anyway. Her aesthetic is anything luxury in the colors of like brown and black and gold. But this is her Pinterest board. This ring is so cool. So just lots of brown and gold aesthetic stuff. Character number four is Jetstream, and this is a character that an old friend of mine drew for me a while ago as a birthday present. I've kept her ever since. Uh, she doesn't have a backstory, and I don't do a lot with her either, but she's a dragon, and all we have here is like bubbles and an acai bowl. <laughs> Character number five, Hinata, who is a mano kit. I have no design of him, no art, don't even have like personality. Apparently here we have like tropical vibes. I don't know, I should like really update him. Character number six is Babe and she is a character that I love. She is a Belgian Malinois and I do have art of her. Her aesthetic is also luxury but like rose gold and pink. I have quite a few characters that are like more luxury or whatever just because I'm super into cars. It just kind of goes with the aesthetic of a lot of my characters. She's friends with Mira and one other character that I don't remember who was part of their squad, but there's three of them. And so I have like things in here, friends hanging out. But her personality is very independent and like she's only hardcore for her friends. No significant others. In a world of choices, I choose me. She's a little self-centered. Not gonna lie. Number seven is Retro, who is a Tamascan dog. Their aesthetic is pink and blue and white. Anything retro, pretty much. They don't really have a personality. Number eight is Roughneck, my husky character. Huskies, fun fact, are one of my favorite dog breeds ever. I would love to have a husky someday. He has a happy personality. He doesn't have a backstory. His aesthetic is more modern. Again, of course, we have more cars. Like, I love having a character with certain colors and finding like cars in that color to match them that I think they would drive. It's like my favorite thing to do. 
Character number nine is Jade. She used to be one of my secondary Sonas, but now she's not anymore, but I still love her. I came up with her character because I won um, a pair of raffle paws from What's Up Hot Dog. Their stuff is so sick, go check it out. Her and my other Sabretooth character are best friends, so I have a lot of pins on here that are like best friend vibes. Yeah, so lots of best friend type photos in here. Some music festival photos because her and my other character like to go to music festivals. Our 10th character on the list is Remus, and he is, I don't even know what kind of, what? I just forgot what kind of species he is. I had to look it up in my notes. He's my Ibex character. He used to be like Roman soldier themed, but now he's just a gladiator. So I have some gladiator stuff in here. Dang, look at those horns. Number 11, Callista. She's a lynx from ancient Greece and she's a mathematician. I think I only came up with the character because I wanted another big cat and this is what I thought of for an aesthetic. <laughs> I don't even like math. I don't know why she's a mathematician. Number 12 is Kala. She's the one that is friends with Jade, also a saber tooth. Also a good vibes character and also likes to do crazy stuff with her best friend. So we just have some very aesthetic stuff traveling, stuff they do together. Number 13 is Rubus. This is a character that I adopted. It's the only character I've ever like bought for adoption. He's an African wild dog, Cobra. I think he's my most unique character in terms of species and maybe even complex design. Teenage rebel vibe character, a little trippy. He's got an attitude, but he's like cool or whatever. But lots of color aesthetics. Number 14 is Ocean who does not even have any pins on his board and who I've drawn once and is not very accurate. He's supposed to be a Halloween themed tortoise so he has like a sugar school design on his shell which I've never drawn or even like thought of. 14, Horus. She is your basic wolf. She's Egyptian themed. I had an old design of her. I don't know if I have a photo. If I do, I'll put it up. Number 15 is Cookies and Cream, the angel dragon. This is one of my older characters for sure. I think he's like the fourth character, third character I ever made. He's just an Oreo themed duchy. That's it. I haven't drawn him in so long or thought about him in so long, but I keep him because I love Oreos and I need a character to represent that part of me. <laughs> Number 16 is Myth. She is a circle and her theme is end of days, end of the world, revolution. So our board just has a lot of conspiracy theory vibes in it. She drives a motorcycle. Number 17, Sotark. He is also a saber tooth. He is based on Kratos. And if you look at the name, it's Kratos backwards. I made this character when I was like 14. Number 18 is Frequency. This is only fox character. I only have one wolf character and one fox character because I don't like to be basic. <laughs> Lots of rave vibes going on here. Number 19 is Biohack. She is a shark, and I also created her like when I was 14. She does weightlifting and jet skiing, and I have no idea. I have not developed her that much. Number 20, Frostbite the Lion. I actually have this really cute badge that I made of him like a year ago-ish. Number 21 is Galtero. He's like the fifth or sixth character I ever made. I had a backstory for him. He used to live in a village and then something happened to the village, like it got attacked and then he became super angry. And now he's like a rogue character in the forest with like his battle axe. It was this whole thing. Number 22 is Sage. She is my other horse character that I made not too long ago. She's an Appaloosa. Her vibe is nature and just super cute flowery stuff. 23 is Pumpkin Patch. This is a character that I made as an adopt quite a while ago and he didn't sell so I just kept him for myself. He has absolutely no development and I think I will either get rid of him or do a redesign on him. 24 is Aoki. This is my paint horse. I haven't envisioned him in Anthro but he is in feral form. He does jumping, he's a small boy, he's cute, he's playful. 25 is Katura, and her vibe is adventure missionary. And I kind of envision her to be also like Indiana Jones-ish, like daring and she'll travel to these crazy places. Number 26, we have Astral. She is my feathered snow leopard character. I 
love her so much. I envision her to be so fluffy. She's also sort of themed to the sky, so we have a lot of things of the sky in here, like clouds and wings and the stars. Let's not pretend that I had to split the video in half, but I filmed it all the way through thinking that it wouldn't be too long. That's about half of all my characters, and I will be releasing a video soon enough of the second half, and you guys can meet all the rest of my characters. I know I need to update a lot of them, and at least draw some of them, and get rid of some of them. You make more and more and more, and then they just tend to pile up, and then eventually you're like, eh, whatever. And then when you make a new character, you're excited about that one, so you draw that one. And one that you made like two years ago gets neglected and has never been drawn before. I need like an outro tagline and an intro tagline. Because at the end of every video so far, I'm just like, alright, that's the end. But thank you so much for watching this video and getting to know my characters that I have spent a lot of time pouring my love into them. Some of them not so much. You can go ahead and subscribe if you feel like it. Go ahead and comment below your characters, your persona, tell me a little bit about them, tell me their backstory, tell me what inspired you to make them, tell me how many characters you had. Let me know if you're the person that has over 200 characters. I hope all of you guys have a beautiful day and I will see everyone next time.